In a previous video, we looked at how easy it is to use the barcode ClickShare CX um, in a meeting room. Um, so the, the situation there was that we walked into the meeting room with a laptop, uh, we plugged in the, the dongle, so the barcode dongle, and then we connected to the screen in the room and also to any audio devices, cameras in the room. Um, we connected to those USB devices wirelessly. So today we're just going to um, just go just go into a little bit more detail and just look at the um, the software that's required on the laptop to do that, but also um, look at the performance. Um, so let's let's just take a minute to have a look and see what that performance is like when we're connecting to those USB devices. Um, and the main point of this is to uh, to have it serve as a comparison between um, some of the other products on the market. So we'll we'll do the same thing. We'll run the same test with those um, with those other products in, uh, in, a separate, um, in a separate review. So just looking at the, uh, at the laptop, um, so in this instance it's, uh, it's running Windows 10, um, you can see this is actually a Surface Book 2, uh, the laptop here, but when we plug the dongle in, um, it presents itself as a, uh, as a USB storage device, and on that storage device we can see there's actually a link here. Um, that if we click on the link, it will take us away, uh, take us to a website where we can install the ClickShare extension pack. Um, so let's just go and have a look at that website. <clears throat> and we can see on the website here, um, it's very simple. Uh, we can just go in, click on the uh, on the download, uh, just run that and install the um, install the software, the client software onto this PC. And once we've done that we'll find that we've then got the, uh, the software running here. And, and the, the key to this is that you need the extension pack in order for the wireless USB to work. Um, so once it's installed, plug the dongle in, press the button, um, you know, within four or five seconds of the, uh, of the dongle being plugged in and you will connect to the devices in the room. <clears throat> but also uh, we want to just have a quick look at the, um, at the performance here. So we've just got a, uh, just a, a video shot here where we can see the laptop and the screen in the room at the same time. So we wouldn't typically have both these devices in line of sight, but it's quite, I think it's quite interesting just to, uh, just to see what the performance is like. So as I'm scrolling up and down the website here, you can see there's a, there's a delay, it's, it's not huge. Uh, typically, if you're in the room, let's like say you don't have both devices in line of sight, um, you wouldn't necessarily be aware there even was this delay. Um, but then additionally, let's just go and have a look at the camera. So here we're connected to a Poly Studio. So the Poly Studio um, is, yeah, well, this is just a camera app built into, uh, built into Windows, but it just gives us an idea of the performance. So if I do something like raise my hand, you'll see the delay between the laptop and the uh, and the screen that we're uh, you know we're connected to wirelessly, but say so the the main point here is that this is a comparison we can run between the various different products that all provide this sort of functionality. Now, ClickShare are doing this using the dongle, so they've got uh, they've got a hardware component. Some of the other products in the marketplace they don't have the dongle; they just do this. Um, you know, they, they're just running software on the laptop that uh, provides the same functionality. But I think we'll see that actually um, Barco stacks up really well in terms of, uh, in terms of this performance. 